In video 24 we're going to look at quality of code and this is all about making sure that the software that you are programming, the software that you're writing is of good quality and the sort of things that we can do to ensure that happens. The first thing that we need to think about is reliability and robustness. So what does this mean? Well let's have a look at an example. So in this vb.net application I have a text box into which a user is going to enter a pin and then a button to try and get them to log on. So if I put in a pin that is not just numbers and accidentally has a letter in there as well and click on login, what will happen is the program crashes on me because I'm trying to put a string value 456D into an integer data type. So if this piece of software was commercially released and the user did that, the program would just crash on them. So that is an example of a program that is not reliable or robust. Here is the same program but programmed and designed in a reliable and robust way. So if I put in an incorrect pin with some alphanumeric data in there, some text, when I click on login in this program, the program handles the error. It says the pin you entered is not a valid number and there's no crashing of the program and sending it to see the problem with the code. So what happens with this version of the program is that the integer variable isn't assigned the value of the text box until the value of the text box has been checked if it is a number using the is numeric built in function. So, although slightly more complicated, a lot more reliable and robust. Another thing to think about in terms of quality of code is usability. And here, this is where we need to think about HCI human computer interaction. How is the human going to easily? interact with the computer. Well, let's have a look at an example. In this program, I have more text boxes. I also have a username and a date of birth text box. All of my text boxes are appropriately labeled, as is my button. Um, and there could be extra usability features on here, such as a little help guide or if I hover over a field it tells me exactly more detail about what I need to enter. But an interesting thing here is something called tab audio. You'll notice that the cursor is flashing in the pin text box. Now that's because my pin text box was the first one to be put on there and if I press the tab button it now sends me to the login um, button when really um, I think the tab index and the cursor should be starting off in the username field at the top. So things don't exactly happen in the order that I want them to. Now I can kill runtime, go into design mode and look at my tab index properties of various things. So we can see that the pin tab index starts at zero, so that becomes the first one. Then the login tab index is one, so that's the second one. And then the username one is two, and the date of birth one is three. So it starts at zero and goes in order from there. So I just need to rearrange those. So I'm going to make username tab index zero, date of birth tab index one. The pin text box is going to have a tab index of two and finally the button with three. Now when I run I think my tab index is all sorted. Another factor to determine whether a program has quality code or not is something called portability and this means is the software that you've written going to run on different operating systems? So is it going to run on Windows, but also an Apple Mac? Could it run on Linux as well, or some mobile um, operating systems? VB.net will write you some good programs, 
but it's unlikely that they would run on every type of operating system. Whereas Java, as a programming language, is platform independent, meaning that it can run on any operating system. Quality code also means maintainability. So this includes readability, which we've looked at previously. So is code well commented? Are variable names appropriate and meaningful? And is code well indented and clear to read? But not just readability, it's also existing documentation. Is the design and the programming code well documented? Uh, for f people in the future to be able to look at your code and maintain it and change it if necessary. Bye for now.